oldest fragment of Bereshit, Genesis, the first uh, verse. And we have to mask the areas of the restoration to keep only the fragments. Call it the meaning of God's handiwork with modern science and technology. In this fragment, we can see that this area is quite dark and you can't really read it. That's the infrared segment and here we can see that everything is really clear and because we kind of erased time. Yair Medina's Jerusalem fine art prince has been breathing new life into the ancient Dead Sea Scroll fragments thanks to NASA infrared technology by Megavision. When you shoot images in space, it's all about the spectrum. Um, the sun produces many wavelengths of colors. So within that, there's the part that we see and the parts that we don't see, like infrared light or UV light. Yair and his talented team of artists like Shai Halivi are shining new light on the mysterious 2,000-year-old fragments discovered in caves in the 1940s. With the leadership of Panina Shore of the Israel Antiquities Authority, the Dead Sea Scrolls Spectral Imaging Project is on display in exhibitions around the world. All of us as human, when we meet something that's 5,000 years old, 2,000 years old, and uh, you have uh, a connection a religious connection. It gets you to a neighborhood with yourself where you feel something different. Recent shipment of, uh, of parchment for a large scale project. So that's how we get it. This came out of the printer um, a few days ago or, and it's gonna be sent to gilding. Yair's art production and printing studio makes 21st century works look and feel like the original masterpieces, thanks to hours of handiwork from multiple artists. This is a book of Haftarot. For one person, it takes about four whole months to gild this book. From personal projects... It's completely 2D, there's no 3D in it, but it feels like the original. ...to Passover Haggadahs for the National Library, and even a recent installation of stained glass windows by Ofra Friedland at Manhattan's Ramaz School. We want everything we do to feel very warm, that we want them to touch you. We are all about making you say, wow, <laughs> in a way that you can control it. Yair says the canvas has changed and so is the way we consume art today. I think reproduction is extremely important in the, in the world that we live today because of the key word called sharing. And the experience has more levels. In Jerusalem, Emily Francis, I-24 News.